Ooh, coconut something. Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hi, friends. I am your kitchen camera guy, Ralph. <laughs> and welcome to Cavalcade of Food. Today, Ralph, a coconut custard pie. Now that sounds now yummy. How's that? Because you know what? There's not much coconut that we don't like. Right. Actually. Um, and this is a fairly easy pie to put together. Um, and it's an open crust pie, as most custard pies are. So we've made all kinds of custards before, Ralph. And we know that a custard is a combination of milk and eggs. And eggs. That's correct. So like a pumpkin pie really is a type of a custard pie. Um, and this is going to be a type of a custard pie as well because those are the primary ingredients. So here's what I've done. I've already, I just rolled out a, I got a nine inch pie plate here and I put a crust, single crust pastry in here. Now what I do is I'll put the crust, the, the pastry crust recipe in the description below. Two cups of flour, two thirds cups of shortening, whether you want to use vegetable shortening or butter or a combination of the two. A little salt, uh, I put a pinch of sugar in, cold water, and cut it all together with a pastry blender. And I always have enough for two of these. I put the other one in the freezer. It's always great to have on hand. So you could do all that or a quick trip to the grocery store to get a <laughs> already made crust. Or you can get the roll, the one kind that you just uh, take out of the box and put in there if you don't want to make your own. That's fine. But you're saying you can make them in advance and yes. then, did you say freeze or refrigerate? You can, well, you refrigerate them until you're ready to use them. But if you're not going to use them for a while, put them in the freezer. That just wrap them up good and anyways so this is all set so we've got a, a single um, pastry crust here and what I'm gonna do Ralph is I'm gonna start with I've got a half a cup of buttermilk here that always makes things nice and creamy nice and rich now if you didn't have buttermilk you could just use um, a regular whole milk whole milk full fat milk okay now I've got three large eggs and we're going to put those in. And this is one of those just old fashioned kind of simple pies that I just are easy to make, but they're so good. And a good holiday pie. I'm, I bet most people Absolutely. would like to have yeah. this at a holiday gathering, although not much gathering these days. Not but. not much this year, but you know, uh, small this groups. Is just a nice pie to make. Great to take over if you're, you know, if you're going over somebody's house or, or just eat it all by yourself. Yeah. So when <laughs> when we can gather once again. Okay. So half a cup of buttermilk, three eggs. I've got one cup of sugar here. Okay. We're gonna put that in there. Sweet. I've got. Two tablespoons of regular all-purpose flour, okay? Sort of a little thickener-uppener. Get it, flour. This is one stick, Ralph, of unsalted butter that I melted earlier. <clears throat> you don't want to put this in hot. So go ahead and melt it and then kind of let it cool. A Down to bit. room temp. Yeah, you don't want it to turn back to solid so cold. But just let it get that back down to room temperature. Got it. Okay. Then we're going to put in some vanilla. Vanilla. Uh. Uh. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Always great. You know, I used to have these. I forget. A friend of mine growing up, their mom was from the south, and she used to make these custard pies. Um, and they were just. They just had vanilla in them, and that was it, and they were just delicious. I'm going to put in a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay? Okay. That's it. I'm with you so far. So we're going to mix this up. You want to get everything good and blended. You could 
do this by hand actually if you wanted to. I find a hand mixer just incorporates things a little better than I could do. And a little quicker on my own. We're gonna remember we like to scrape down. Now I um, Ralph, the oven is on and heating up to uh, 325 degrees, okay? Okay. So let's give this another whirl. I love doing pies of all kinds. I used to be more of a cake guy, but now I think I'm really more of a pie guy. Especially an easy pie. Yeah. Like this is. Okay. I think we're good here. All right. So now we can't have a coconut custard pie without... The main ingredient. Without coconut. I've got one and a half cups here, Ralph, of sweetened, shredded coconut. Okay. Then we're going to put that in. Now that I'm just going to mix in by hand. And you can smell it already. Can, can't you? Yeah. Just something really good about that. So I'm going to like to get stuff off of these batters, beaters here. The batter off the beaters. Okay. Now what we'll do is we're going to mix this coconut in. With the butter, the flour, the sugar, the eggs. Yep. The vanilla. Okay, there. Well, that couldn't be much easier. All right, so now we've got our... Now I'm going to pour it into the pie shell here. I don't know. I'm at, the, I'm at a... Weird angle. Weird angle. Go ahead, so you, can, you can turn it around so you can do it easier. So I want to get it all out. Now we're going to bake this uh, 50 minutes to an hour depending. We'll give it a check um, at 50 minutes and see how it's doing. Basically, you want the custard to set in the center, okay? Did you get everything? So it's got a, I think I did. It's good to the last yeah. glop. <laughs> so you basically say you want it to do what now? You want you, you want to cook this until the center is just set. Oh, okay. You know, firm. But you okay? want to make sure you have enough that goes in uh, without overfilling or under so yeah. looks like you got the right amount so that's why you want a nine inch plate not a deep dish just a standard nine inch pie plate center rack center of the oven we'll check it at 50, 50 minutes to an hour we'll check it at 50 minutes and see how it's doing and it was preheated at three, three, 325 325 okay well ralph it's been like 50 minutes and I'm looking at this beautiful pie. Look at that. And it, yeah, not jiggling. So. That looks great. It kind of puffed out, didn't it? It did puff out. As, and as most custard pies will do. Do they flatten back down? Um, and then as it cools, it'll it'll kind of sink back down. Um, But... You know, you're smelling the coconut, you're smelling the vanilla, mm -hmm. and um, it's almost like a toasted coconut. And the uh, the um, custard butter, yeah, the the buttermilk I think will give it a nice tang. And actually, we're gonna let this can't do anything with it till the pie cools. Mm, so we're darn. gonna we're gonna I know <laughs> we're gonna have to wait. Um, but you know, what do you do with it now? There's a couple of options. One, you could Put some whipped cream on it, be wonderful. You could toast some coconut in the oven and put, you know, garnish with the toasted coconut oh, over yeah. the whipped cream would That's be great. Great idea. Um, you could just serve it uh, with some nice vanilla ice cream on the side, a la mode. Or you know what? You could just enjoy it as, as it is. is. So, so any options. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna let this. We're going to let this cool down to room temperature before we carve into it. But couldn't have been an easier pie to make. Coconut custard pie. But we'll be back because we want to try it. Well, well, well. 
It has cooled to room temperature, Ralph. And let's just look at this. Nice old-fashioned coconut custard pie. It's got a great golden color. Yeah, it's really pretty. And, uh, you know, it just it, you can just smell it, how mm. good it is. But let's not just smell it, let's taste it. <laughs> yeah, smelling's great, but tasting's better. Um, like I said, you could do a whip. You know, you could do a whipped cream if you wanted to. Um, we're gonna. I didn't have any whipping cream, but we have a a nice can there of and whipped cream. You had said something about putting toasted coconut yes. on top of or coconut on top of the whipped cream. But what if you were to put, or could you put just toasted coconut? Or, I'm sorry, just coconut on top of the on top of the coconut. On, on top, top of the, of the filling? On top of the pie. Yeah, you and could. Then, and then put it under the broiler. Oh, well, I don't know if you'd want to put it under the broiler. But just have extra coconut. Look mm, at that. Doesn't that look good? So. Looks very coconutty. Very coconutty, which is what you want. So try it first by itself. Mm, wow just bursting with coconut goodness mm, mm, mm. so during the winter months it'll take you back to the tropics exactly and then we want to dial it up a little bit why wouldn't we you like a little uh, coconut pie with your whipped cream <laughs> well you know it would it gives a nice contrast in terms of textures but yeah yeah sure but the uh, You know, that coconut is sort of suspended in that custard. Um, oh, man, that's good. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you don't like coconut, you're not going to like this. But if you like coconut, this is going to be a pie for you. And a showstopper if you take it to a party. I mean, yeah, it's just... Or a gathering. This, this, this is in my old-fashioned pie file. Um, but... Honestly, friends, yeah, if you came over to somebody's house with this in your hands, you would not disappoint. They'd say, why'd you take a, a piece out of it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean like before we cut into yeah, it? Yeah, before you cut into it. Or or not, I would just say, well, I wanted to make sure it was yeah. perfect for you. And it is. So you know what? Share, um, share it with those you trust, with family, with people you're gathering yes. with these holidays. And, and I'm um, going to share that with the, the cameraman. Cam I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, he's he's going to want a piece. So. Chomping at the bit. Um, anyways, you know what? This was great fun mm -hmm. putting together this wonderful pie. And it was always great fun spending some time with you. Thank you. We appreciate you watching and subscribing. Thanks for being part of our cavalcade of food tours and fun food and, visits and fun stuff and you know what we'll look forward to seeing you again right here on cavalcade of food bye, bye. everybody bye everybody bye snowman